Hey guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'll be teaching you how to recreate the If You're Reading This It's Too Late album artwork by Drake. Like the, the album is by Drake, not the artwork. I'm not sure who made the artwork, but the purpose of this video isn't necessarily how to create amazing artwork like this, you know. Uh, I like the artwork, but it isn't, you know, super hard to make. There are literally generators on the internet that you can use to create this artwork, like literally. Like you can go on a website and type in whatever you want and it'll make the artwork by itself. The purpose of this video is actually to show you guys how simple your artwork should be. Uh, like if you look at Blonde by Frank Ocean, if you look at like a majority of artwork out there, it's usually just the photography. Like Sweetener was the photography flipped upside down and there was text added. If you check the last like five Drake albums, it's just a picture of his face besides this one and what a time to be alive. I see a lot of people just putting a bunch of random textures and stuff together and trying to make it look Cool. I think all you need is good photography and know how to place your text around, you know? Like this album artwork is literally a white background, a little logo at the bottom, and a font. So yeah, with that being said, I will be releasing a template if you do want to edit within Photoshop and you want to add a background or something like that. I know you can't do that with the generators, so maybe this is a benefit for you guys. If you guys are reach 100 likes, I'll be releasing that. I also just released a video on how to recreate the So Far Gone um, cover art by Drake as well, because it's actually been 10 years since since that. So these two projects dropped on the same day. And I also have a thank me later artwork breakdown as well. So if you guys want to check that out along with a couple of other breakdowns. With that being said, let's get straight into the video. So yeah, right here I have the artwork. So very simple. Um, the logo is at the bottom. So uh, usually in artwork, you just want to put a logo of yours or your labels or whatever. Uh, people also like to add, you know, the explicit content or advisory, whatever, at the bottom right or bottom left or whatever. I think this is a really good basic artwork because just the text, like people remember the name of this album very easily just because it's right there. Like if people can't associate the album name or the song name with a picture or an image or like a text, then it's not going to do so well or maybe the album or songs are just trash like when i think of blonde i think of frank ocean putting his hand in his face that's what i think and green hair i think of green hair but does frank ocean have green hair right now i don't think so right you may also notice that the text is aligned on the left side because you can you can see it's not really censored like the entire sequence right here like the entire block of text is censored in the middle but the text itself is centered on the left side so you can see how there's space right here that's because it isn't long enough to stretch towards this side so there's a bunch of free fonts um, let me take out my notebook right here. So, uh, my handy dandy notebook. Not really a notebook. I think it's a pad folio. That's what it's called. So there's with my woes font. So if you know one of the songs, is, is, you know, like running through the six with my woes, you know, um, it's too late fonts and late fonts. So there's three different fonts you can get. I'm sure there's more and there's more generators. I'll put in the description. So there's three free fonts and there's a bunch of generators. So you can have unlimited resources for yourself. So I think I got with my woes font. So what I'm going to do is recreate this, but for so far gone because it's both of its anniversary today. So, so so far gone, I'm going to type it, uh, make the font black. And there you go. You also want to make sure like the spacing's the same so far. I think I'm just going to put so at the top because as you know, like you want to be able to space out the text properly. Uh, with this, there's a lot of words, so they can afford to do four lines. But if I want to do four lines, it's going to be harder because so far gone is three words. So I got to come up with different words I can add, like like so far gone um, 10th year anniversary or something like that. Uh, I might do that. And you want to make sure the font is kind of all the same. So far gone. See, like it, there's too much space so far here. Let me so far gone. What? Oh my God. They don't have numbers. Uh, let's add a I that's ah, Steven. So smart year. Sorry. So you can see now I have to actually think about how to space it out because the text right here is kind of messed up. Like I can't make it smaller because I want it to fill up the entire page, like the entire cover. So what I'm going to do, I might just 10 year. Or maybe I'll just do 10 years instead of just 10 year anniversary, just do 10 years. And then what I mean by it's aligned to the left, but it's centered is you can see it's aligned to the left right here. But if I want to center it, I can press control A and then press on the move tool and then press on the second shortcut and then the fifth shortcut and it'll center. And if I hide this, you can see that it's too close to the logo. So I can move this up a bit. So it's still um, aligned or uh, vertically, but not horizontally. And 
I think I'll just erase part of the white background here just for the logo. And that's it. Uh, now I just have to make sure that the spacing is sort of the same. So it's not actually, because if I highlight this and press control T, this thing will pop up and you can see that the character under a vertical alignment is 30. You want it to be zero. Now that should be a little bit better. It still looks a bit like, you know, a little bit off. So far gone 10 year. Worse. I think it will look better like this, but I don't know how I would do this, you know? You know what I mean? So it's hard to think about this. Like maybe I should just do like this, but it looks so ugly, you know what I mean? Or maybe I should just do so far gone. I might just do that and make the text bigger. Yeah, that's what I'll do. But yeah, that's just a part of what comes with making cover art. You know, something like blonde might look simple, but what photo do you use? Like what layout? you know like what font how are you gonna space it like would you align this vertically now and not like right or left like there's a lot of thinking that's required so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video hopefully you know you learned something from this and how simplicity can be a good thing uh, you know same thing with a lot of things like video editing simplicity is good like you don't want a bunch of effects uh same thing with producing you don't want just random samples and stuff that doesn't go together you know a lot of drake beats are very simple i'm just saying that so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video hopefully it helped you out my name is steven and i'll see you in the next one